There he is. Good grief. What's up guys? Joe here with Chat Cats Fishing. Welcome to a rainy episode. Right now I'm walking to the creek. South Chickamauga Creek. I'm going to be fishing from my buddy's dock, which for those of you who have seen my videos, I like to come here when we've had a good rain. It's actually not that high. Actually, it's not even really high, but the water is muddy. There's a really fast current. And I'm hoping the blues are active in here. We'll just have to see. Gosh, it's actually a lot lower than I thought. But we probably had, I don't know, maybe an inch, inch and a half of rain last night from Hurricane Delta. So I thought this would maybe be a good time to fish. And it looks like the current's actually a little faster than I would like it to be but it is what it is I'm gonna give this creek probably a couple hours and if I don't have a bite then I'll go somewhere else but yeah guys this is it this is my favorite creek spot so this is really the backwaters of the Tennessee River um, this whole creek actually goes around and it dumps right into the main Tennessee River. So during the winter time or after a big flood, the big blues will move in here feeding. So it's not your typical creek, because uh, right now it's probably a good, I don't know, 12 to 15 feet right in the middle. And probably near the bank here, it's probably a good nine to 10 feet, something like that. So we don't really need to be casting our baits very far. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is, I don't know if you can see, but there's kind of a current seam right here, and it's slower moving right near the bank. So I'll probably have my baits more towards shore. Have some cut skipjack, or we have skipjack, and I'm going to be cutting them into chunks. I only brought two. See, we got all this debris moving down too, which is typical after a good rain. Last time I was here was back in the spring. So it's definitely been a while. This bait is probably a week old. So it's it's fresh. So we're going to be using just regular size chunks. Regular is, I don't know, probably two inch width here. Some people go a lot bigger. Hook it through the gut pocket. I've been doing that more recently because if you hook through the gut pocket, the gut won't sling out of the of the main bait here it actually keeps it intact whereas if you hook it through the top here 
that gut pocket can fall out. Drag seems to be set pretty good. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna cast kind of towards the bank. So that one will be go there. It's actually not as, not as deep as I would like it to be, but I don't know. This creek is, is hit or miss. I usually come here when it's usually prime. After a rain, when it's muddy like it is, uh, it's not as high as I want it to be. It's a lot better when it's muddy, it's high, good current, but it's, it's actually pretty low. So this is really just kind of seeing what's out here. We're gonna be keeping our weights right on the bottom, just using my standard Carolina rig. No Demon Dragons, no Santee rigs, just keeping it right on the bottom. Using circle hooks, ADOT, Team Catfish double action circle hooks, 80 pound leader, 40 pound mainline, all monofilament. Looks like we got more rain coming back. So today is going to be an overcast day. It's going to be on and off showers in the morning, and then I think it's supposed to clear out in the afternoon. So that will be good. Got the bait runner on. So like I said, we're kind of on a current seam. And uh, I'm hoping we get some action here. I mean, we'll just have to see guys, stay tuned. That was odd. Just had our first run. Looks like we had some gar activity going on there, which I forgot to mention. There are some gar out here. A lot of debris down there. I'm just gonna pitch this one out. Good fish. This is really good fish. This is a tank, y'all. No joke. Yep. Very good fish. Right underneath the dock. Oh yeah. That's a giant, giant, giant. Ugh. That's a giant, y'all. This is a giant. Holy moly. Ugh. I was not expecting this. Not expecting this.
This is a tank, y'all. Look at that blue. He's got to be in the 30s. Oh, peeling again. Gosh, he's so hyper. Woo! Holy moly. I'm just super stoked right now. There he goes again. Oh. There he is. Peeling again, peeling again. Just listen to that drag. There he is. Good grief. There we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whoo. Look at that fish, y'all. That's a tank for the creek. Right there. Ah, oh, that's so awesome. 28 pounds. All right, guys, there we go. 28 pounder. If I can get his tail to come down here. There we go. That's a nice fish for this creek. Seriously. 28 pounds. Going back to the depths. See you, girl. Wow, what a fight. Guys, I'm just stoked right now because oh, that was just awesome. I mean, I haven't experienced a fight like that in quite some time. And so I'll just tell you again what I'm doing. I ended up moving my rods further down uh, towards the bank here because the current's just really fast right here like it's pretty it's pretty fast and there's a lot of debris moving downstream so i didn't want the debris to get in my line and so i just kind of started here and then started moving my way closer to the bank and all i did with this rod is i literally just dropped it underneath the dock i mean i'm going to show you what i did but gosh, that was awesome. And I knew for sure that was definitely a blue and not any of these gar and dink channel cats messing with it. And they fight hard in this creek because it's not deep. It's pretty shallow. And I'm just flipping it out. That's all I did was flip it out. Leave that bait clicker on. So that tells me they're definitely in here. And I've only been, I've been here for, I don't know, maybe an hour, a little longer, something like that. So this piece here has the skipjack head and this piece here has a chunk and that 28 pounder came on the chunk. All right guys, we're hooked up again. It's a pretty good fish. Yep, there he is. We're starting to bite now. Peel and drag, peel and drag. Wow, they are really biting now. Another good one. Another good fish. Man, this place is really starting to pick up. It's just a matter of time before a big one comes along. Oh, 
Accidentally hit his fin there. That was not good. I think it's all right. Nineteen. Nineteen pounder. Very good fish for the creek. I'll take these all day. All right, let's release them. See you, girl. Okay, so let's check this bait. This one has the skipjack head. Nothing. I mean, it's definitely been chewed at, you can tell. Try this again. Like I said, guys, I'm just flipping it out. So glad I chose to come over here, y'all. Fish on, guys. This is a smaller one. Yep. Smaller blue. But they're biting, y'all. They're biting. They are now biting. Still got my bait, too. Yeah, this guy's probably around 10 pounds, something like that. I'll just use my hand. Hopefully he doesn't hurt me. Thought I still had my bait. Did he eat that? Yep, 10 pounds. That's a nice 10 pounder. He's long. Beautiful though. Nice creek catfish. Whoo! This is awesome. So that's three catfish, a 28, a 19, and a 10 pounder. We're getting to the point where this is borderline getting on fire in the, in the last 30 minutes. I'm going to tell you again, the, the current is slower in here compared to what's going on out in the middle. And I think it's because these docks kind of serve as a current break. So what it is, is you have a dock here, and then you got other docks upriver from this. So, I mean, and they're hugging close to the bank. Like, it doesn't surprise me that we're getting action right here and not out there. I mean, I've caught them all throughout this creek, though. I've caught them way out here. 
but I think that current's pretty tough right now for those blues, which is why I'm hugging close to the bank here. Yep. Fish on. Oh, did he come off? Oh, no. Oh, man, that was on the skipjack head. Oh, man. <sighs> Darn it. That's sometimes how it is when you're using the bait runner. You can miss a fish. Ah, darn it. It's all right, we'll just try it again. At least I didn't lose the bait. They're in here, guys. I'm telling you, they're in here. Good fish. Very good fish. Very good fish. He may be cross with that other one. Okay, now he's swimming towards me. Oh, he's gonna get in that other line. Oh, golly, he's so active. Ah. Trying to put some heat on him a little bit to slow him down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Holy moly. That one's another good one probably in the, probably in the 20s. Yeah. Yeah. What a day this has become. No joke. I mean, no joke. He may be bigger than the other one. That 28 pounder, I don't know. Maybe about the same size. I know there's a bigger one out there, guys. It's just a matter of getting Big Mama to take the bait. Got him. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's like mid to upper 20s 34 30 pounds and four ounces heck yes Right there. We're gonna send this fish uh, back to the depths. All right. Oh. Wow. Boom. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits. I gotta head back and do some other errands and whatnot but hey not a bad creek bite here um, we caught four fish a 30 a 28 a 19 and a 10 pounder that's not bad from the bank y'all or from this dock i'll definitely be back when you know conditions are ideal or prime this is what i like to do so as always give a thumbs up for this video and we'll see you later